Hello there, people of the internet. So I got me a new toy. This right here is just a single shot, uh, 20 gauge shotgun. Nothing special or interesting about this. However, on the inside is a little insert for 357 Magnums and 38 Specials. Uh, I discovered that you can buy these little inserts for shotguns. Uh, they work in pump actions as well, but I definitely prefer firing them out of a single shot because they're a lot less awkward. But yeah, they're just little inserts. They're shaped like a shotgun shell and they got a little hole in the middle that you can load a different kind of cartridge in and the shell itself has rifling going out. I think this one was like a two inch rifled barrel. Uh, so should have at least handgun accuracy out of this thing. Not going to be like phenomenally accurate, but I imagine that we're not going to be extremely inaccurate either. Now a lot of people would say, why the hell would you do that and not just get yourself like a 357 revolver? Well, price. <laughs> uh, price is definitely the biggest uh, contributing factor to this. I have a lot of ammunition that I've just piled up over the years, but no gun to shoot it out of. So I think I'm just going to get me a collection of these shotgun inserts so we can see the same results from uh, firing it from some of these different guns, but I don't have to spend all the money to make it happen. I think I paid like 18 bucks for this shotgun insert off of eBay and shipped in probably about a week later and shoved it in my shotgun and now my shotgun's chambered for 357 and 38. Now obviously there are some downsides to this. Uh, one of the biggest ones being that uh, there's no extractor on these things. They're just shotgun shells or metal shaped like shotgun shells that you load rounds into. So you got to kind of finesse the old round out whenever you fire it. I'm also not sure how accurate it is. So that's actually one of the things that I'm out here to test. The ammunition I'm firing is nothing special. Just I got some 38 specials here. We're going to fire these downrange, see how they turn out, and then we're going to fire some 357s, see how they turn out. I'm expecting with the the much higher pressure round and faster velocity of the 357, it'll probably be more accurate than the 38s. But I just freshly spray painted my uh, steel target down there. This way we can see uh, where they hit. I'm just going to go ahead and aim center mass and let's see what happens. This right here is a 38 out of a 20 gauge shotgun. I never thought I'd be doing this. Well, we hit it. It fired a little low, but it was uh, definitely the right uh, uh, windage. So it was straight. All right, now comes the fun part. Oh, it just fell right out. How do you like that? And this shotgun only has a little bead sight on it. So don't expect tremendous accuracy from this thing. I mean, if you have a shotgun that had actual sights on it, you might have a little bit better luck. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to aim a little bit higher, see if we can hit a little closer to center mass. I might have aimed too high on that one. <laughs> Get out of there, you. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> see, this is where the lack of extractor is kind of annoying, but that's all right. I've got me an extracting rod right here. Hold that open and finesse that out. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. These things are not sniper rifles, of course, but for the money spent, you get to fire your ammo, so be happy about it. All right, there we go. That was more like it. All right, so it doesn't fire as low as previously anticipated. Use my extractor rod again. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to drill a hole through this handguard and put one of those muzzle-loading ramrods into this thing. I'll just, you know, have that under the gun so I can ram those cartridges out. Now this, definitely not a fast repeating gun either. All right, now we have 357 Magnums because I only brought 338 Specials out. Ammunition's hard to find right now, so I'm trying to be conservative. All right, let's go center mass again, see where this one hits. I don't see any difference, so that tells me it probably hit low, and I probably hit the crap that's underneath the target holding it up. Oh, the 357 Magnum fell right out. All right, let's go for one more. Again, these are nothing special, 357s. And uh, out of a shotgun, they have way less recoil than they have out of a revolver. It feels like I'm firing a pellet gun right now. All right, I'm going to aim a little bit higher. Let's see if we hit center mass. Ah, pretty close. 
I might aim a little too high on that. Whenever it comes to uh, trying to aim these things, the the uh, height seems to be very. Uh, you can aim too high pretty easily, from what I can tell. But it seems accurate, at least out to the distance that we're firing at, probably 25, 26, 27 yards, somewhere in there. And hey, for 17 bucks shipped, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. If you already own a single shot shotgun, uh, go ahead and check these things out. If you don't own a single shot shotgun, these are also really cheap. Hell, you can pick one of these up like brand new for 80 bucks. Uh, probably about 100 whenever you factor in shipping. Or you can check out the used market. I'm sure you'll find some cool stuff there too. Alright, so, not a sniper rifle, but hey, <laughs> that's more accurate than I'd be with an actual revolver, so... Better than, better than expected, but not as good as hoped. This thing definitely has pros and cons with it. Pro being, hey, it's cheap and I can fire 357s out of a shotgun now. Cons being, you know, it doesn't extract. Not that accurate. If I spent a little bit more money and got one with a longer barrel, I imagine it would be considerably more accurate because with the barrel it has, I'm basically firing it out of a snub nose 357. So despite the, the length of the shotgun barrel, uh, I imagine the pressures in the shotgun barrel might give a little bit more velocity to the round, but it definitely wouldn't be much because it's not a uh, gas tight seal. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, as you can see from the car down there, I do this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, this video was kind of a, a shorter video, but ammo's expensive. All I'm doing is shooting my steel down there. I'm probably gonna break these out, shoot some real targets with it. Uh, I think it would be fun to do a match run with this thing just because it's so unusual. So I might do that as well. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like the video if you like the video. Uh, YouTube's anti-gun right now, so if you like every subscription, every share, definitely helps. Uh, check out in the description below. You'll find a link to Patreon, Discord, social medias, my gaming channel where I get drunk and play video games. It's a great time. Okay, that being said, uh, the day is heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and lose this jacket. I got this nice Hawaiian shirt underneath, so it's not like I'm gonna go undressed. Okay, well, I'm gonna go edit these videos. You guys go off, have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garrett. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.